Hey everyone, it's Jared Burt here with Landon. Mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, another taste review video. Uh, this one's salsa. We'd like to thank Mike Rainey from uh, Mike Salsa here for uh, donating these five jars of salsa to us to uh, do a taste test on them uh, re in a review video for him. He's a startup business. He started a year or two ago, something like that. Sorry if I got the time frame wrong, um, but just kind of doing it out of his house. And he's really come a long way since he started. I follow him on Facebook, which I'll put his Facebook link down in the description. And um, <clears throat> you can follow or you can contact him on there and his phone number and everything. And uh, yeah, he's got legit packaging, jars and everything. They're all sealed up and everything. Yeah, so we've unsealed them and we've already poured some out in the dishes to get get them all ready to go. I got you, <laughs> Ben White. The, he's got. Don't the worry about it. Way. I got you. Yeah, so um, we're we're gonna run through them. I think we kind of have them out of order right now, which one we were gonna do. So I know that he said yeah. So do that one. Yeah, flip this. Just start. Start. This one goes over. <laughs> this one goes with this one. This one's this one. Yeah, sure. And then. Oh, dude, what is this? Which you, one did we? Oh yeah, we we're put, doing the spicy last. Dude, here I'll help you out. Doing the you spicy. You barely put any in this one. And then this is that one. This. Right. <laughs> <laughs> dude, do, are, are, do you want to do the corn? No, dude, 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 dude. Dude, 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 totally. Dude. All right, there it is. Should have done that at the beginning. But. All right, we should have done that at the beginning, but hey, you know what? Whatever. So we're here now. He said this one is his best selling, the cilantro lime. So we're gonna try that one first, and then we'll go down the line, and then the second one. So I'm, I'm more, I'm excited to try these two. The pineapple, the spicy pineapple, and the... What are you doing? Why are you dipping a chip in the I spice? wasn't. I was spreading it out so it oh looks better. God. Calm down. So it looks better? So you can scoop it better. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Okay, right we're doing cilantro lime first. Whoa, you didn't let me say what I want. I'm excited oh, for. Oh, say, say. Cheese. Oh, yeah, that. sorry. Go. I'm excited for this uh, roasted veggies and corn and uh, <clears throat> the, the spicy one. Hey, Those no. two. Perfect. They look good. All right, so we got the cilantro lime. I want to try to show the consistency there. Shaking for a reason? Or... Shaking, try to get to the top. <laughs> so it has a really good, like, liquidy to chunk. This one's not, like, big chunks, but, like, uh, it's like a consistent... very, like, minced up chunks. Minced. The consistency's good. Liquid to liquid to chunks. All right, here we go. Grab some chippies. They're all here. You what go. are you doing? You don't spilling worry it on about the, what I'm doing. You spilling on the freaking table, man? You want me to? No. I mean, we could spread it all out. There it is, right there. Look at that. You know, get I it. Can't do nothing right around here. Just get <laughs> three, two, one, go. Mhm. Mm so it's very, uh, it's very friendly mm -hmm. to the to the palate. Um, you could like put that on anything, dude. It tastes like. Uh, like you literally just chopped it up and put yeah. it in the jar. This would taste good on some chicken and rice, steak and rice. Right, I'll hold the bowl for you. Sorry, I'm trying to get it. Don't worry, I got you. This one's that like one's your good. like your like all around salsa. All around. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna exp I got all the Dude. explanations of it. I know. You should did that first. Should've done that first. Cilantro lime. A unique salsa that will remind you of a fresh pico de gallo. Very true. Check. A blend of fresh uh, cilantro, lime juice, and the lime juice, it's not too overbearing. It's just enough to like... <clears throat> it's there. It's there, but it's not like you're over tasting it. Right. Uh, Roma tomatoes, red onions, and jalapenos. This salsa goes great on taco and chicken. I think it could go great on anything. But yeah, uh, right. it'd be perfect for taco and chicken. For taco burger. Taco burger. Taco burger. Yes. All right. So, what's little man doing Taco over burger. there? He's watching you. Does he want to join the crowd or what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold me a bit. You want some salsa? Want some salsa? All right. So yeah, that one's good. Okay. My one that I'm really, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, spicy pineapple. Label. 
You gonna open that? Yeah. Well, consistency there. Oh, this one's got a little bit bigger chunks. A little bit bigger chunks. Okay. Boom. Still a good consistency with liquid to chunk ratio. Boom. Ready, set, go. Yep. Mmm. Yep. And then the spice like kicks in. Sweet. You got the sweetness. Here, I'll hold the bowl. Yeah. Mmm. Oh man. That it's one's got that good. Chunks of pineapple in it. So you get the pineapple right away. And then like halfway through, like right now, the spice. Mm -hmm. The spice is coming in. Yeah, that one's that one's good. Ooh, did you see that chunk of pineapple in there? That's what I'm saying. You got that? You grab yeah, it? I'm trying to, but Snag it. Snag it. Double chip this so I can grab There we go. Ooh. Yeah, there's some. There's another one. There's another one. Get it. Man, that one has some. <laughs> some spice. You good? <laughs> you good? Uh huh. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that one's good. It's got a nice sweet to the spice. Once again, probably, I think that one would be really good on, yeah. I don't know, pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Anyone? All right. One of them vanished. I don't know where it went. So, all right. We have roasted veggie and corn next. Okay. Shake her up, show the consistency I there. I was gonna say, it's already poured out. You're just gonna... We got good consistency of liquid and chunks. This one's kind of, this one's got a little bit more chunkiness. Palette cleanser. Kind of like the pineapple one, palette cleanser. Yep, good call, good call. That did spicy read, part. Did um, you read the description on this? Damn it. Good job, Landon. Okay. Sorry. Spicy pineapple. Fresh pineapple blended with Roma tomatoes, jalapeno, banana peppers, red chili, and green peppers. It's sweet with... There's a part missing. It's sweet with... Uh, yeah. I don't know. It just says it's sweet with... Must have just been a typo. 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 I don't know. Sweet with... Heat. Just heat. Sweet with heat. Boy, yeah, that's probably what it is. It's sweet with heat. I would assume because it's sweet first and then it's heat. Bam. That's okay, what now we're pick gonna up go the with. phone again and read this. All right, one okay, now we got Jesus. <laughs> roasted veggie and corn. A mild salsa with oven roasted <laughs> vegetables and locally grown whoa. sweet. Whoa! Producer, whoa! Getting after it over there. <laughs> Little guy back there just letting her rip. All right, roasted veggie and corn, a mild salsa with oven roasted vegetables and locally grown sweet corn. A good salsa for just about anyone. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Packaging looks good. I showed them the packaging, right? Did you show them the consistency? Yep. Okay. Now, see, now I'm all confused because. Done that. What was that? <laughs> Dude, it's easy, easy to sandwich or what? It's easy to pick up the sandwich. One, two, three, go. I don't worry about what I'm doing over here. Ooh. I like the corn in this. The corn literally feels like I just cooked it up and ate or eating it right off the Well, out the old field, picked her myself and mm -hmm. roasted it. See, look at it. See? No mess on the fingers. You got the double chip and you picked it all. Oh. You can taste the fresh vegetables. Roasted veg, you can just God. taste that little roastiness in there. This one's good. Mm. That one, it feels so fresh. Yep. That's good. That'd be good on tacos too. That chicken, one, chicken and rice. That one would really go rice. good with rice. That one would, yeah, with the corn. Mm -hmm. in there. Beautiful. That was good. I like the corn in there. It just gives it that like. Fresh pop. That fresh pop, that fresh feel. Really good. All right. Next one, we got the smoky one. And I like the label because it actually looks like it's smoke. It's got like a gray and light gray little uh, tinge to it. And oh, 
So the pineapple one does have a heat meter on it. The heat meter. So it's like half meter. This one's got a little bit going on here. A little here. bit going on there. These rest of them do not. And I can get the information in there. Mike Specialty Products, you got, you got back the up. phone number and stuff. I mean, if it doesn't show, I'll still have it on there anyways. But Post that then. Post that then. All right, consistency. Good consistency, liquid and uh, chunk action going on. You know, we didn't smell any of the other ones, but this one you can smell the aroma. Not as much. This dude, smell this one. It smells like you're in a barbecue. Oh, it smells like I just went into a barbecue place for any ribs. Moly. It does. It feels, it feels like I'm literally. I got a little on my lip on that one. Oh, yeah, you can smell the pineapple on that yeah. one. Yeah. But that one really is. This it's, one, that's why started, I smelled it because you can smell it. <clears> it's like you're at a barbecue. Yeah, that one's got some good smell. Okay, okay so, read it. Come on now. Smoky. The peppers and onions are smoked with hickory and apple chunks. The Roma tomatoes are oven and oven baked, and all goodies are blended together. This salsa will wake up your taste buds and goes great with chips and a cold beer. I like the descriptions. They're creative. They're creative. It's good, good marketing. All right, you ready? You got some? No. I'm still <laughs> trying to lean on in. All right. Whoa, look at that chunk action. Oh, it's running down my fingers. <laughs> Me too. One, two, three, go. I feel like I put some barbecue in my mouth. Yeah. Man. It's good. It's literally like I'm, uh, yeah. Feels like I stood by a smoker and I just inhaled yeah. the smoke. Like, yeah, you can taste the smoke. And it's like, just has that barbecue taste and smell yeah. and feel to it. Like, literally. That's good. It, it, lives, up to it, it lives up to its name, that's for sure. Yeah. We are not leaving anything in these bowls, so that no, should probably give you some more room. Or I mean, <laughs> if you want. All right, that was good. There ain't much left in these bowls, so that should probably no. tell you <laughs> we're, we're how cleaning, much we like them. We're cleaning them up pretty good, so I don't think we're done eating them. All right, the last one. We saved the spicy one for last. Save our taste buds. Spicy. Okay, now we got good consistency again. A little thickness. I like it. Ow, oh, I just bit my lip. Minced. Doesn't have like huge chunks, but enough. All right, you ready? Smell that one. Cool. Ooh, you can smell the hot sauce in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, the spicy one. Does that read it off? Roma tomatoes, jalapeno, habanero, banana peppers, red chili, green peppers, all oven roasted and blended, all mixed with a unique spice and a hot sauce. A good salsa that goes great on chicken or added to chili. Ooh, yeah. Added to chili? Hmm. Never thought of that. That'd be good. All right, ready? I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> Not a question. All right, and do you go. I don't feel the spicy right away. No. You know what that means. It tastes good though. Keep on going, see if we can reach it. Keep on going. Ooh. It's starting to linger a little yep. bit. I'll help us out. I'll bet. We're yeah, trying to get to that spiciness. We're not all the way to the spicy. Dude, we're running out of chips. It's, it's got good flavor though. I'll be back. Now I'm starting to feel that. Starting to feel a little burn right there. Starting to feel that burn. I can see why this would go good with chili. Kind of has a little bit of a mm -hmm. chili hint. Really kick her up. Yeah, it has a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. 
It has a little bit of a chili. Now I see why this is gonna be their best seller. Yeah, anybody could eat that one. Right. It's not hot. No. It's very flavorful. It's very cool feeling. Put it on anything. Go great with tacos. Mm -hmm. Great, like, just miles away. The more I eat of this, the hotter it's getting. Yeah. And I like it. The spice is kicking off. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the spice is hit. No better or no more. I got you. Don't you worry about that. Is there any of them that you would like to try again to reevaluate the flavoring? Well, we all got a little extra here. So a little pineapple. Now, do we do something for, for science purposes? Put them all together. I mean, that's what we've done with all, everything. Science purposes. Do we need another bowl? No, we just pick one. Right. Put it in this one. Do we want to do first? Do we want to rank them first? Oh yeah. We and then to... science purposes. <clears throat> all right, we're ranking them. Oh, the spice is kicking <laughs> in. It's coming to haunt you. You need to have a spice meter on this one. Where is it? <laughs> There's no spice meter. Right. This one has no spice meter. This one would be on the top. It is, it's, unless, the unless, spice takes a while, but. Unless he makes another one. <coughs> I'm just sad that <sighs> we're all done tasting them. I know, me too. I wish you had. Too bad we're going to empty these jars. flavors. They're so good. And they're fresh. They're like. The other thing I like about them, I don't feel like I'm eating a bunch of salt. Right. You know when you eat salsa sometimes? Eat, like, obviously we're eating chips, but like, even if you were to just put it on like, like, just put it on a taco or like chicken, chicken or, or rice or something. Like, the salsa, like other salsas just feel like there's so much salt in them. And uh, just, these you don't get that feeling. You just, nice, fresh, uh, mm -hmm. fresh ingredients that give it the flavor. Not a bunch of salt or anything like that. So that's... Even though these chips are salty than it can be. Yeah, they're just like very cool feeling. I don't know how, like, that's how I describe it. All right, we're ranking them. Yeah. I want to start with the easiest one that I can start with. Spicy is my last favorite, if I had to choose. Um, I, it tastes Eat. good. It has good flavor. Put it but, in your um, Yeah, I'm working on it. What the hell, bro? This would be my, so number five. This is number five. Uh, I'm going with Smoky. As number four, only because uh, barbecue is usually my last choice of eating, and this gives me that kind of that barbecue um, like taste, I guess. So I'll go with four, um, and then glasses. This is where it gets hard. Here, I'll bring them closer. Can you Shut read Shut up, oh, man! Geez. I can read it just fine. Plus, he's got colored labels. That's debatable. Every label's got a different color, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like every, I like that every, every label has a color that goes with the name. Oh, Spicy's wow. red. I guess I didn't, obviously. I didn't notice that. Smoky, you got that There's smoky smoke. label. You got roasted veggie corn. I don't know why black, black. goes with that. Oh, probably because they're roasted. They get a little bit of black tinge on them. You know, bruh. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going with the roasted veggies and corn as my third favorite. I really do like this one though. I think it's really good. I, I like the corn in it. It gives it kind of a different uh, substance and like that, kind of like that fresh, like you're eating a fresh vegetable right there. Um, I'm going with, and then you got the cilantro with the green, you know. I'm going with cilantro I lime as second. This one's gonna be my second one. Spinach, there you go. This literally could go with anything. Anybody could eat it. Um, it's not spicy or anything, but it's got really good flavor, really fresh flavor. Like he said, like that pico de gallo. Yeah. Like you just chopped up some pico and put it in. And then I'm going with the pi spicy pineapple first um, because Number one. I like that it's sweet. And then like halfway through, you get that little bit of kick. And it's got that good mixture of that sweet and spicy, and I really like it. Could have been a flip of a coin with these two, but the spiciness is what the sweet and spicy is. What's that one? Number one. Uh, uh, Are you still eating the salsa, man, while I'm talking? I'm still eating the chips, I won't lie. <laughs> Jesus. All right, go. I'm going to spin them so I can see them. <laughs> this is... You know, mine's going to be a little different. So my number five is this one. The smoky. I liked it, but it wasn't, it's not my favorite one. 
Obviously, since you put it as five. Number five. <laughs> Number four. I this one, the cilantro lime one. It's good. Just I like the different flavors of these these other three that we got yeah, going. They got on a lot here. of different flavors going on with them. Yep. And then number three would be the spicy one. I like me some spice. And then number two is the roasted veggies and corn. I really like the corn in this. And then my my first one would be spicy pineapple. Look at that. So we agreed on one of them. Yep. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything yep. else is pretty much in its own other order. Yep. All right. All right. Well, here's now. Science. Science. Now we have to do this. We have to put them all together. This is for you guys. We'll just. Uh, Look, this one. That one? That's the roasted corn one? Sure. Whoa! Dude! Good save. Oh Good save. All right, so a little bit of a little bit of pineapple. This is for science. This is for science purposes. All right, there's that. That's enough of that. Just a little bit. A little flavor. It's already got some in there. A little bit of spice. Oh! Okay, you can see the... Look at those peppers in there. Fresh. Yeah. Everything's different colors too, you know. Like sometimes you get salsas and it's like all one color. Right. Yeah. We got a lot going on in this bowl here. Got a lot going. I love the consistency of it though. Like We're gonna it's have not to eat too, all this. It's not too watery. It's not too chunky. It has really good. I really like chips. it. I like oh, the let's consistency of it. Spread it open so you can see. Spread. We well, got a. Like mix it. So well, I'm going here. to. I'll this. take a half chipper, like a wasted chip. You well, know. I was gonna do with like my two chips. Can I go like this a little bit? That's not a wasted. We chip. spend How all morning fixing a treadmill, and we've earned this meal. You here. never wrote waste a chip. <laughs> Shut up. Let's go. Dude, Shut up and I can't go. Believe you just said that. Dip it in there. I'm getting there. <laughs> all right. Oh, I need a just in case. Get me a bowl over here. Okay. Ready? One, two, there you go. I mean, I'm not mad about it. But. I'm not either. This one <laughs> really stands out out of all of them. That smoky one. You can really taste that. Yeah, one. it takes over. It's that barbecue. Mm -hmm. You can, that, like, you literally taste the smoky barbecue-ness right. through all of them. I just like the smell of it, too. But. I'm not going to stop eating this, though. I'm not, no, I thoroughly enjoying it and then you get that hint of spicy we did this for a reason science girl help y'all seriously what no i'm saying seriously this stuff is way too good oh i thought you meant like seriously i put way too much chips on the plate i was it just says on his good. label too Ooh. it's so good now i'm gonna get a little bit of that heat this is true. i've gotten some of the heat i'm getting some of that heat Look at that. I love the consistency of it, though. Look at that. A little liquid, little chunks. Give me a little bit of that cone. Look at that it's cone. just fresh tasting. They got an issue. Not a bunch of salty taste, like I said before. Just like, I literally went on the yard, chopped up some fresh veggies, and put it in a bowl. I see one issue. What? These jars aren't big enough. <laughs> you got to make... Extra, five five extra gallon large, pails extra large, for sale. Extra large jars. Because <laughs> these are going to be gone. Ah. You can easily eat one of these. They are, they are 15 fluid ounces. So, if you want to know how big they are. They do come with a sealed cap underneath this, which we've already popped off, our, obviously. Um, yeah, it's legit. You got all the ingredients right here for each one. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. What else you want to add to it? I really like this. Yeah, I like really, them. really good. Literally yeah. every single one of them has really good flavor. There's, there's a couple in there that are spicy. I feel like you could use these for different things though. All the time. What do you? Yeah. What dishes would you use them the most for? Uh, well, tacos. Duh. Tacos. Uh, chicken and rice. Steak and rice. Right. Pretty good. I do. I do agree this one, with, with the chili. This one would be, I think, the hardest one to find something to do with, though. 
The pineapple one? Yeah. Yeah, well, chips. Well, yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> five bags of chips, please. Five bags of chips. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. You can try it on stuff and see what it, you know. Oh. All right. Yeah, I mean, once again, thank you. Stop chewing quick. Thank you, Mike Rainey. Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed these uh, yes. these salsas that you uh, gave to us. We really we really appreciate you giving them to us for one, and asking us to do a video. I'll and, be buying more. Oh yeah, we'll be buying more for sure. We look forward to doing a couple more videos for Mike actually for his other products. Yes. So that will be uh, fun to do as well. And like I said, his information will be down in the description. So his Facebook page, phone number, you can contact him on there. Um, I think he's working on a website. It's not quite up yet, but we will uh, give that information out for you. And you can buy them uh, from him. And then, yeah, I think that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, you know, subscribe to the channel, please. Share the video, not only just for the channel, but... Share it for him as well to uh, spread uh, his business out there, help him grow, especially during times like this. You know, he's trying to, he's started off small, trying to make it big, which he's doing very, very well. And it's cool to see and cool to be able to follow. And like he said, he's a local guy here in St. Charles. So yeah, do that and then leave a comment or anything like that on which maybe is your favorite that you would like to try um, in the future. So, mm hmm and if you have any other suggestions on videos for us to do, please hit us up. Or if you have a product we would like, you would like us to review, food-wise or drink-wise. Ooh, we like drinks too. I love drinks. So do that as well. All right. Until next time. Thank you for watching, and we will see you for the vi next video. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just stumble on your words as you exit it. That was so. <laughs> Jesus is a fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>